Welcome back. In this video, I will be showing you the second part of the route optimization process. This will include turning on your routing optimization setting, creating routes on the map, and assigning those routes to drivers. By this point, we have already created our bulk order Excel sheet and uploaded it onto our ShipDay account. As you can see on the map here, all of the red circles are our delivery addresses and the orange pin is the pickup location or your business. To start off, we are going to turn on the route optimization setting. So if we go over to the top right and click settings, go down until you see the routing option. Let's turn that on and you can optimize by distance or travel time. In this video, we are going to optimize by distance. After you set up your routing settings, Make sure you go to the bottom and click save. Once you have saved, you can go back to the map and we will start creating routes. There are two tools that should pop up at the top of your map now that you have your routing optimization turned on. The first one is the hand tool, which just lets you move around the screen. The second tool is the shape tool, and this will allow you to add little points to create a route cluster. Let's say you have three drivers and you want to create routes for each of them. What you can do is create different clusters from these orders and choose which drivers go to which area. To create these groups of orders, you are going to use that shape tool. If I wanted to make a route for these orders in the top left, I am going to place points around all of them. Make sure you connect all of the points, especially the last one you need to have an enclosed shape for this to work. As you can see, when you create this cluster, this box will pop up. It gives you the length of the route, the estimated time it will take to deliver every order, the total number of orders, and the driver's name. We haven't assigned a driver to this cluster yet, so there isn't a name here. If you are ready to assign this route to a driver, you can go ahead and do so from this box as well. What's really cool about this is if you click View Details, it will give you a list of the delivery addresses in the order that will take the shortest amount of time. You can download this list if your driver prefers to have a hard copy to drive with, which will look like this. It begins with the pickup location and then shows the optimized route in which your driver will take. You can also assign a driver from this screen. If we close out of this screen and the box, you will see the actual route that the driver will take on the map. It's those short black lines that begin at the pickup location and go to all of the delivery addresses. As you can see, the route ends back at the orange pin, which makes sense because the driver will come back to your business after they are finished. Side note, if you wanted to open that little box back up with the route information, you just need to click on one of the solid white points on the shape. Let's make two more clusters for our other drivers. Click on the shape tool and put your points down and don't forget to connect them at the end. Now that we have three separate route clusters for our orders, we can assign them to our drivers. Before we do this, let's take a look at the Drivers app. Once your driver logs into their Ship Day Drive app, their screen will look like this. Before they go online, there are a couple of settings that they should change. If you click the button on the top left and navigate to Settings, you will see this Auto Order Accept option. We recommend that your drivers turn this on so that when you assign them several orders at once, they won't have to manually accept each one. Because you turned on route optimization from your dispatch account, your driver will now have this button on the top right. If they click on this, they will see four options. Pick up all orders, which is what they will press once they have picked up all of the orders from your business at the beginning of the day. Next, they have optimize route, and if they press this, it will optimize their orders so it will be the same as what you saw on the map on your ship day dispatch account. We definitely recommend that they press this once they are starting their day, 
so that they can have the fastest and most efficient route possible. Next, we have Notify Customers. When they click this, it will text every customer on the route and send them a personalized tracking page and ETA of when the driver will arrive at their delivery address. Finally, we have Call Support if your driver is having trouble with the app. So let's go back to our map and assign a route to our driver. If you click on one of the solid white points, the route information box will pop up. From here, we can click Assign Driver, and let's give this route to Tom, since he is our only available driver right now. You can see that all of our red circles have changed to this blue color, which means that they have been assigned. If we go back to the Drivers app, you can see that Tom now has all of these orders in his Current Order tab. He can now see each of the order details and if there are any specific order instructions that he needs to be aware of. He can also call his customer and your business if he needs to, and he can also click the arrow button to navigate to your pickup location and the delivery addresses. What you may notice, however, is that Tom's orders are listed in a different order than you see on your map page. This is because the orders are not automatically optimized once they hit the driver's app. So Tom needs to click the top right button and choose Optimize Route. This will change the list so that his orders are optimized and they should match what you see on your ship day map page. Once all of Tom's orders are optimized and he's ready to start delivering, he can press the Pick Up All Orders button, which will change all of the order statuses. We recommend that he also sends a notification to his customers so that they can expect his arrival. The customer will receive a text message immediately, which will look like this. It'll give them a link to a tracking page with an estimated delivery time and an option to call or text the driver. They can also see all of the moves that the driver is making in real time. If we go back to the driver's app, the very next step for our driver is to press on the way on his first order. He will continue to update the status as he drives to each delivery address. The customer will continue to receive texts as their specific order status is being updated, all the way up to when the order is delivered. To navigate to each location, the driver simply needs to press on the arrow button, which will open up Google or Apple Maps, whatever navigation app your driver decides to use. Once your driver has completed an order, a proof of delivery box will pop up with a few options. They can get a signature from the customer, take a picture of the delivered item, or say it was a failed delivery. The driver can also skip this option. Once they have completed that first order, they can move on to the second and follow the same steps. We send SMS notifications to customers several times, when the route starts with the live tracking link, when the driver is on the way to the address, and also after the delivery is completed as a confirmation message. This helps to keep the customers updated on delivery time and status at all times, significantly reducing customer calls and manual texting. So that is how route optimization works with your ShipDay Dispatch account and the driver app. We created order clusters on your ShipDay account with the shape tool on the map and then assigned one of these clusters to a driver. We saw from the driver's app how to optimize these orders and step-by-step -step complete one of them.